Welcome to part 3 of the video series on bug boost converter BBC01. Today we will perform maximum power point tracking experiment. Firstly, we will perform the experiment using potentiometer to extract maximum power. This is the Arduino program and we change the duty cycle value as per the potentiometer value. The duty cycle can vary from 0 to 200. You can download the program from the link in description. Follow this circuit diagram for Arduino and module connections. This is the setup for testing. Here we have a solar panel of rating 140 watt. The artificial source of light is created using these incandescent lamps of 200 watts each. These are solar panel output terminals. The positive wire is connected to this switch. An ACS712 current sensor is also connected in series to the positive line and finally it is connected to the positive terminal of the module. Here we have Arduino board and a potentiometer. A laptop is used to power Arduino and also for data logging. At the output terminal of the module, two 12 volt 9 watt lamps are connected in parallel. Now we power on the supply for the lamps. Next, turn on the supply to the module. All the relevant data can be observed in the serial monitor. Here is the input voltage, input current, input power, duty cycle value and output voltage. We now try to adjust the potentiometer and get maximum power. You can see the output power increases with duty cycle value. So at duty cycle value of 140, we get maximum power of about 16 watts. For the next experiment, this is the program for perturb and observe method for MPPT. The program is as per this flowchart here. Find the program link in description. Upload this program to the Arduino board. So now we turn on the lamps for solar panel. Power up the module with solar output. On the serial monitor, you can see the duty cycle value increases slowly. The output power also increases. The perturb and observe method settles the output power to around 15.5 watts. This is similar to what we had achieved using potentiometer earlier. If we turn off few lamps above the panel, the power reduces and the duty cycle value adjusts itself to a lower value to achieve MPPT. There is another popular method for MPPT which is incremental conductance method. The program and flowchart can be downloaded. You can give a try and see whether you can get similar results. Thank you for watching the video. Buy link is in description.